A historic change in our drug laws in America. And this is what's happening right now, if you haven't heard. Oregon is the first state in the country to legalize psychedelic mushrooms, specifically for mental health use. This new Oregon law will allow the mushroom use under the supervision of a state-certified facilitator. So it's not just out for any casual experimentation. The facilitators are actually being trained in Oregon now. Now, the context here runs back a long ways in American life. These so-called magic mushrooms first classified as a Schedule I drug as part of the Nixon-era war on drugs, a crackdown on all kinds of drugs in ways that have been reconsidered over time. So the government at that time said there was no accepted medical use for these substances. Well, a lot of science is suggesting that wasn't true then or now. Indeed, there is research. This is not from people pushing mushroom experiences, but just from the normal, traditional medical research community that has found that in the right format, the use of these substances can treat PTSD, depression, anxiety, and forms of addiction. This was covered by none other than 60 Minutes just a few years back. I don't necessarily use the word happy. Comfortable. Hmm. Like, comfortable. I mean, I've suffered from anxiety my whole life. I'm comfortable. That, to me, okay, I can die. I'm comfortable. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. He took psilocybin in 2016. He says he hasn't had a drink since. Do you ever have a day where you wake up and you're like, man, I wish I could have a vodka right now or a beer? Never. Not at all. Not at all. Which is the craziest thing because that was my favorite thing to do. The research showing, perhaps contrary to some conventional wisdom, that selected use of this substance, for example, can, as noted there, prevent entire alcohol abuse and alcoholism. A former Beat guest, Michael Pollan, has a book about this, How to Change Your Mind, and that has clearly had an impact on some of the wider public discussion. It also was turned into a popular Netflix program. But just think how much human suffering could be relieved if we have a new tool that works on depression, that works on anxiety, the fear of dying, addiction. That's a game changer. Every day since the study was my best OCD day in my life. I'm several months out. My symptoms are, I mean, zero. I want it integrated into medical care if not in retreat centers for any human being who would like to have this experience in a safe and legal way. And for this important discussion, we're joined tonight by Oregon Congressman Earl Blumenauer. He supported that ballot initiative that we're covering, and by Dr. Julie Holland, a psychiatrist and the author of Good Chemistry. Uh, welcome to both of you. Uh, Congressman, on the policy side, let's go to you first. Um, why did you support this? What does it mean to have this as an option, regulated and safely, uh, for individuals who might benefit from it? Well, Oregon's been a pioneering in terms of how we deal with uh, controlled substances. We were the very first state uh, to uh, decriminalize cannabis. And I am very pleased that we have a ballot measure that was approved by the public to be able to, ex to deal with this in a very controlled and thoughtful fashion, under supervision of trained professionals, doing it slowly and thoughtfully, but unlocking the potential for, as you've mentioned, PTSD, uh, addiction, uh, anxiety, issues that really have bedeviled us. This looks to be an extraordinarily promising therapy, and Oregon is doing it right. Hmm. Uh, doctor, what are the potential benefits here? Well, uh, you know, psilocybin is probably going to be FDA approved as a treatment for depression, first and foremost. Uh, but what we've seen in the clinical trials is that it is very helpful for treating addictions, including a cigarette smoking addiction, alcoholism, obsessive compulsive disorder. There are trials looking at anorexia. I mean, basically, anytime you've got cognitive rigidity and people are very fixed into the way that they're thinking about things, if you provide them with a mushroom experience, they're going to have more flexibility in their thinking.